Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic for this training session which is on permissions that is delegated administration as well we call it basically just to organize the content. So what we do is we need to go to the system administration tab and under system administration we need to go to the permissions tab and you can see that this is empty but if you click on the portal permission it will show you the hierarchy of the folder structure where you can assign the permissions okay so basically what i was saying is that the delegated administration is the place where you organize your security framework you organize how you want to allocate the security to the people to the groups okay so that is where you you identify what type of security you want to to give so here you can see that what I'm going to do here is that I will go to a security zones okay in security zones you will find the different folder structure for which we'll be allocating the security so for this purpose I will go to a folder which is a test folder which is created just for this purpose of the training where I will be showing you guys on what type of security is available in different locations okay so basically the access control list that we'll be seeing so with the access control list the permissions for the different content object in the portal catalog are created technically so you have folders you have groups users roles and the type of access that is there is read owner full control okay read write none so depending on what type of permission you want to give it to the administrator so here what happens is that the administrators privilege is also control basically for a particular page what type of administrative access it will have and what type of end user access it will have so let's click on this open tab that we want to see the permissions for click on the permissions so on clicking that basically it will show you an interface where what I was describing was the different permissions that is there so here in this particular tab you can see that for this folder ep50 underscore safety for this folder this is the permissions basically user admin role so these are the roles which is assigned okay for all these roles the administrative has say for example first one it has no no access okay so like that end user has no access for the user admin role so user admin role cannot be done okay but here you can see that you have the option to give these roles like read read write full control okay so you can provide that type of access then end user role you can define okay now administrator is the owner because he has created it so that the owner role is defined here now let's go to the permission source as well so in the permission source we will see that what type of permission is possible to be defined for this particular okay so here you can see that this object inherits its permission from object security zones okay now in this case you can see rest of the two tabs are hashed out let's click on permission source okay so in the permission source what you we are going to see is we are going to design we can design our security from the permission tab you can see that now all the three are not hashed anymore okay so we have the option we can say for example for a user for a group for a role we can specify or assign permissions okay so we can add and define the permissions okay say for example I am searching say search for star so here you can see that for these are the users which is there and this is the assigned permissions which is available okay so that is how we can select and assign the permissions we can assign the users Okay, so let's go to the next one is the group you can see that these are the groups and this is permission that you can assign so you can assign the users and map the users and the permissions let's go to the roles now okay when we go to the roles okay so in the roles you will find the same thing you will see the list of the roles and at below you can see the permissions which is created or inherited so you can assign the type of permission that you would like the administrator and the end users to have for this okay so basically we have seen how do we create different security zone 
okay so and how do we assign the things in the permission editor this is the permission editor you are seeing here and it's a brief overview about how this works okay so this is about the this particular folder here you can see what type of permission is there and then you can go to the security zones where you can define and control the permissions that is there for the this particular folder okay so that is pretty much actually i wanted to cover just i wanted to have you guys feel of how the permissions work in the portal and how do we assign the permissions thank you for joining and have a nice day bye bye